Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of uh, Expert Difficulty, Iron Man of course, and we're starting it with the Big Bang. Master Tracker Bion is our target, the next boss, and I am looking forward for a boss battle. In between last episode and this one, uh, I've done a lot of background work, earned uh, cash, plenty of, mainly just walking from one uh, city to another and then selling goods. It's a very fast way of actually making cash and on top of it, I've prepared the crafting for everyone once they are hitting level 8 and good news. Um, Zoe is the last one on level 7 after this fight, she, uh, last one of level 6 after this fight she should be level 7 and you can see with the training Sami and a few fights we're like slowly but surely getting there but the leveling is actually turning out to be incredibly punishing, very very tedious. I don't know, um, I'll just go with the flow. I've decided if if I need to grind off screen just to get a couple of levels in but it is what it is it's part of the game um, but my feedback would be uh, that uh, that's one of the very few things that definitely uh, need to be revisited uh, the whole um, tweaking of uh, the XP if you it depends if you want kind of a hundred fifty hours experience then I can understand why you would want uh, that slow level XP, but um, it it's quite noticeable. Okay, anyways, uh, enough rambling. He has an affection, cannot eat meat, go mad if they become fatigued. Fire damage taken increased 50%, that's good. We're going to use that. Um, Deals damage to the target, gains rage, rage uh, is stackable, crazed screen. Uh oh, I think he's calling in the plague ridden. Damage reduced by 10% for each plague ridden unit engaged in combat. Each time takes damage, gets a bionics panic. Okay, 50% of uh, at 50% of their maximum health. This is unit transformation. Uh, well, if you do have 800 health and 900 armor and 20% guard, that's not really at 50% health. At least not in my book. Um, just double checking. Okay, could we theoretically get everybody orderly? I think that is a great start. But I don't know how long the fight is going to last. He has lost his um, guard, which is important. Bion's Panic. Number of plague ridden allies called uh, allies called by Bion Storm. Okay, well, so far there is none. We're doing actually relatively fine. Okay, so he is susceptible to fire damage. But before we do that, let's start bleeding him because we also have abilities that stack with bleeding. And that nicely triggers poison as well, so he's getting a lot of damage. He builds up rage and that'll be a problem. Oh no. 
You're kidding. Oh, oh no, you, oh, what, what, whoa. You are absolutely kidding me, right? Hmm, what is the best uh, way of doing that? Potentially over here. Two, two, three. Okay, we're going in. This is the optimal position for four hits, including bloodshed. Oh boy, and now we're poisoned. This completely changes everything. Good, let's hit these guys and hit them well. moves over here I'm just trying my very dearest to get all of these guys down but it's not easy and the poison again doesn't doesn't necessarily make it uh, easier at all This guy is down to 19. It's not worth uh, two va uh, Valor just to kill him. Nope. I need to see how how we're going to deal with this. One hit. Just getting that guy away. And yeah, didn't kill the Plague Ridden, unfortunately. So many hit points to just chew through. Good hit. I just want to reduce the number of enemies that we're dealing with. Oh, he's a tough cookie, really tough boss.
Let's juggle aggro a little bit. Weakening him. Taunting him off. He has a lot of debuffs, so might as well use that to our advantage. Good, and, and Roby starts going into melee. Unfortunately, for us, the poison isn't really favoring him. What is going on? Each one of them 170 hit points. Okay, I think we need to burst him down. I don't see a way of going through that without bursting him. Good, that's one hit respectively a triple hit Well, if Dilly needs to tank, then Dilly needs to tank. It is what it is. These guys are dealing a respectable amount of damage. Good, moving over here. Moving all the way to here. Focusing on this guy. I'm saving the veil the Valor points for our actual combat abilities. I think we need to burst him down. I don't see how we can get through all of uh, these zombies in just one sitting. just not happening um all right this year will provide brutality and brutality might be exactly what we need for more damage he continues to bleed which is good stacking poison for even ah uh, he he might be immune to poison by thinking about it Healing our bear because he's one of the few things that actually benefits a lot from first aid. <laughs> okay, that is completely unreasonable.
Okay, so that that was helpful. Just don't want to hit anyone else. Three eighty. We would need to deal just a tiny bit more damage, but that's not going to fly. Well, wonderful. This fight is looking more and more like a real big problem. Hitting him, destabilizing, continuing to hit him, sprint over here, heal the bear. And take damage. Sprinting through here to the other side, which hopefully will solve our engagement problem. Hits this guy. <sighs> We're running out of valor. But it's almost the end of the turn. Move up. 60 points of damage. That's what I want to see. Another 50. All right, all right. Almost there. Should have stood here for brutality just for that extra little bit of damage increase. a bit of damage but that's okay holy holy wow Whew. hunt strike damage to the target gains two rage Damage increases by 5% stackable. Willpower plus 1, which is a nice accessory. Well, that one hand axe would be something that uh, Pauli is rocking. Requires level 8, by the way.
Wow, that was a great fight. We've lost quite a bit of pre uh, preparation material, but I would say that was well worth it. And fortunately, we also got Plague Infected. And we don't even want to get a Plague here. Zoe levels up and it's quite clear she needs movement. We can put her off of the dummy, by the way, and instead put Enders onto the dummy, who has something to say. Okay, I think Enders has like only close companions, so did everybody just receive 350? Some did, some did not. Dilly here, for instance, definitely received it. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, look. At the end, uh, we're letting them slowly but surely train to become level 8. At which point, there is a lot, uh, there is a huge uh, increase in equipment. So that'll be uh, that'll be a phenomenal increase. Got another shield here, one that might be worth keeping. We're going to figure that out. I have crafted one, which isn't bad either. Good, but I think we have found all there was to find up here. So let's explore the rest of uh, the woods and then go to the town up there. What a fight. I, I did the mistake in focusing on the plague written. In such a fight, uh, depending on the design, uh, sometimes it is advisable to just kill off the ads, but it became absolutely apparent. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Don't want to fight the bears. Yeah, we don't want to fight you. Good. We're checking the checking out the cursed village. At the moment, we're silent, which is good. So apparently, that works well. I would like to explore here. Uh, has a chance uh, to retrieve part of resources used in tinkering. Okay, that's not a bad one. Now I would like to see what Officer's Pelum is about. Flurry of Blows, level, level 8 required, and we do have two of them. I think Jim currently uses a level 6 version of it. Totally great weapon. 
just with the exception that this pilum here is almost twice as good as the other one. So we'll uh, save it for level eight. So we would get level appropriate gear. My problem is we're seeing, my problem is we have a couple of bears waiting for us apparently. And it's very likely that that we're going to stumble into a pack. So now nah, we can't. You can't restart the challenge. Apparently, are we risking it? I think maybe. Now nah, let now nah, let's leave. Part of me really wants to do it, but another part knows the moment that we're attracting more uh, more problems here. It's the moment when I'm going to hate my life because all of a sudden we've wasted very valuable resources. Because you need to cure every single scratch that you're uh, taking. And we just aren't strong enough to one-shot uh, the enemies. It's not happening. What brings you here? This is a sacred... Oh? You're interested in our war Oh yeah, paints. I am interested in the war paints. Well, I could show you how we prepare the pigments. If you promise not to touch any. Oh, absolutely. Very well, let's begin. The only problem is that I'm out of raw material. For the most common color, I need to make bone char using, you guessed it, bones. Just bring me a few animal carcasses. 20 is not a few, milady. 20 is actually quite a lot. Hmm. Well, okay. We're going to get them. I'm still an apprentice. But I'm not your average servant. Good. I want to learn war paints. They sound fun. They sound like something that could be another buff. And we can use every single one. There are wolves. Wolves typically come in larger uh, quantum. Yep, 12. And enemy reinforcements. Oh yeah, cool. Well, it's getting better and better. Wolf steal high initial damage. Damage taken increased by 10. But they are also glass cannons. But we will do that in a front-to-back manner. Good, getting orderly. Moving up. And let's just punish these guys. Polly, this seems to be your time to shine. Yeah, we could go in further, but I think that would be pushing it. Let's just stay here, have a proper front line. Let the tanks tank. Almost taking no damage, but in return getting Valor, which is a great ability. I should have used it immediately. One, two, 
three. Yeah, I think we can hit all three somehow, maybe. Well, maybe we could not. Also starting to move up, but that's okay. Fine by me. Good, I want to free up Mrs. Grell so that we get another Valor for this engage. Very good. Also, as long as they are not engaged with the multiples, the wolf's passive for extra damage doesn't kick in. just out of range. Too bad. Good, let's move up. Hit. Very nice hit actually. finish and this could be a finish well that is actually one there we go This girl is stealing a lot of damage for a tank. Good, the wolves are not done yet though. Keep in mind they get reinforcements if my memory serves me well. If that's about it, then the wolves are done. Scratch my words. Mm -hmm. Anders moves up. Dual hit. Finish. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Let's heal the bear.
Dilly G moves up. Matter of fact, sprints up. Where's the last? Oh, there was one wolf from behind. Can we even reach it? I suppose we can. Good, maybe we get our bones now. A lot of carcasses, but I think not enough. Now we only got 11. Out of curiosity, there are places to hide carcasses. Uh, yep, jackpot. Oh no, those are the 11, my bad. But we're definitely going to go for the war paint. But in between, let's make sure that we're well rested. That's good enough. And the training stummy has performed incredibly well. I mean, look at that. They are getting such a huge amount of experience. Every single rest. It's potentially the single best uh, building that I've seen so far. But it is only the single best building because getting experience is di is really really difficult if it would be easier i think the building wouldn't be op but as it stands i mean it is as much as three large battles in just one go and if you think about that that's actually quite impressive for a single building Okay, apparently nothing to see here. I do not want to deal with the bandits. But there is also a mine and I wonder, I have to wonder what's in there. Plus I have to wonder, is there anything here? This looks like a bit of a hidden passage but I, th I don't think we can go down into the water okay there are definitely a couple of more rats And we get uh, some smithing material. At the beginning, it was rare to find iron, but now I do have a, quite a deposit available if we really need it later uh, down. But so far, since we have all of the um, since we have <clears throat> all of uh, the next material, the next uh, upgraded version of armor already smithed. I wouldn't see why we would need a lot of uh, smithing ingredients. Miss Grell, Holly.
Okay, that's one of the best orderly screams at, uh, at the beginning of of any map ever. More rats, even if they are at higher level, seem to suck a little bit. They are not good combatants, let's put it that way. Super squishy and they aren't dealing a lot of damage either. down oh this is going to suck for them I think we should have just started at both fronts at the same time Yeah, well... Let's sprint up! These guys are surprisingly fragile. one shot and they are already almost down and they are like what level eight same level as we are well more reds are confirmed to be the worst opponent that we fought but i mean it makes sense they are not very strong does that reset our movement no it does not Well, end of turn then. Haha, reinforcements have arrived. And we thought we would get off uh, that easy. Nope, not the case. More red madness. Okay, how many hit points? Eleven. Well, I tell you what. I'm in a good mood today, so we're uh, spending an extra point to kill you. Twelve. There's another kill. And unfortunately, we're running out of skills. There is just not another... Uh, the skill left over. So he destroys one as well. Yeah, let them come a little bit closer.
All right, Miss uh, Grell has killed one. If the tank is capable of killing one, then you are pretty, you can be pretty damn sure that they are not really strong. On the upside, I think more reds will be able to deliver carcasses. Triple hit. Nice. Nice. Good job. Yeah, I don't want to risk anything so we're not shooting into melee. Whatever, well, let's just kill them. Okay. Yeah, the mole rats have not even a sense for self-preservation, just running into the collapsing cave. It's an accurate um, depiction of fighting against rats. Now nah, we're going to get the last one. There we go, we want all of the carcasses. 14, okay. That solves our war pain topic. And they were protecting their nests, apparently. Uh, we are completely overloaded. Uh, um, yeah, I know how to deal with that. Well, even with that, we're still overloaded. How is that even possible? One, two, three, four, five. I need twenty, not more than that. And it seems that this here is a secret area. Oh, yeah, we've discovered a secret. Great. Cool. Well, it turns out there is actually a benefit of doing all of those little side contents. We can do the fragments later. It's not needed now. For now. I would like to unload all of the uh, stuff that we've uh, that we're just carrying. Hopefully, we can reach Tule's Gale uh, Glade because the carcasses are super heavy. For the most common color, 
Fine. These carcasses will do nicely. Now we'll bury them and leave the resulting bone char is of a pure black color, aptly called bone black. Okay. We use it as paint pigment. All right. It's time to reap the rewards of your work. Yeah, well, I don't know what the war paint does. Oh, look at that. Cool war paint. Well, he takes a skull. I like that. There we go. Does this suit you? Would you like another ornament? Sure, why not? Oh yeah, that that looks very nice as well. Would you like another ornament? Uh yes. Our backline is getting some proper war paints. Does this suit you? Would you like another ornament? Uh, I think for now we're fine, thank you. Would you like another ornament? Okay, so it was entirely cosmetical. I just played myself. Anyways, if you like war paint color, how about you try to smear some around the like button. Uh, that always looks so white. Uh, could use some color, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.